Imagine yourself in a scenario where you are a 20-year-old woman returning home after dropping out of college. You meet your family and friends again after two years, and everything seems to be going fine. However, life turns hard quickly. You have outlandish dreams, you believe that everything is just shapes, you meet a murder cult, and you stand aside a dark hole that is growing and everlasting, causing the end of the world. That is Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods, developed by Finn and Fall and published by Finji, was released for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and PlayStation 4 on February 21st, 2017. Xbox One and Nintendo Switch versions came out after. The, the game was released to success and gathered a cult following by thousands of fans alike. My time with this game has been nothing short of pure enjoyment, and I can see why this game was given adequate applause and understandable criticism from other reviewers. Night in the Woods should be played because of its story, its writing, and its gameplay. Night in the Woods has an engaging story. In Night in the Woods, you play Mei, who is a 20-year-old anthropomorphic woman dropping out of college. She returns home to Possum Springs, a town inspired by the Rust Belt area of the United States. Along the way, Mei hangs out with friends, runs around town as weird dreams, succumbs to shapes, and learns practically nothing other than that the world is ending in a metaphorical sense at least. It's interesting, the reason why Mei returned home was to feel safe again, but with these events happening, she didn't secure the break she needed. Because of what she goes through, it makes the game's story interesting. She goes through mental trauma in a place she calls home, and the situations she's been forced to go through make it so that the player can learn that home can change and that anyone can adapt to it. Night in the Woods has an engaging story and these odd elements into May's return to home enforce such a statement. Night in the Woods has noteworthy writing. There are multiple characters in Night in the Woods. They can be interesting, cool, gloomy, dark, mysterious, unfortunate, any kind really. These characters make the game what it is and accompanied by the story make the game a pleasant play. The main characters and normal characters have amazing writing from serious to humorous situations. The game still puts a message behind it. A significant message from the game is at the end of everything hold on to anything which is a subtle reminder that while the world is ending there is always something to look forward to. Night in the Woods has a thing for mixing emotional scenes with comedic elements and depending on how the game is made for high schoolers or college aged people, it's no wonder that these messages have deep connections to those age groups. While it may not be inspiring for people who dislike real world story games, I and many others found it to be all worthy. Night in the Woods has extremely commendable writing for people my age and above as it relates to real world situations and mature life. Night in the Woods has interesting gameplay. When the player first boots out Night in the Woods, they may wonder how the experience is going to be. Will it be a platformer, a shutter, a story game with control, no control over that story? Well, to put it lightly, no. The game is an adventure game where the player controls May and makes up her story throughout the game. Despite this, there are many instances where the game doesn't act as an adventure game. One instance is a side game incorporated into Night in the Woods, which is Demon Tower. Demon Tower is a action game involving a female cat climbing through dungeons to the top of a tower. There's a grim, neutral, and a favorable ending. This minigame is honestly a nice break from the main story of Night in the Woods, and it's a cool addition to an already extraordinary game in my eyes. There's also this minigame where May has to play a bass guitar, and it essentially turns the game into a Guitar Hero Dance Dance revolution-like game. So this is an adventure game with a variety of different gameplay genres. Pretty neat, eh? Night in the Woods may not be for everyone, and that is completely understandable. The game doesn't have too much to offer in the first half of its story, as the player is supposed to be exploring the game at what it is. It's essentially a period in the game where there's really no story to be followed, which could discourage players. 
There's also the fact that the characters may be boring as their writing could feel forced. Then there's the fact that some players might not like a story focused game and they may dislike the semi-linearity in the second half of the game. To me though, playing Night in the Woods was worth my time. The story, writing, and gameplay of Night in the Woods are spectacular and it will always be a treasured experience of mine for sure.